verse 16, the seed on the rocky soil. It represents those who hear the message. This is Jesus talking. And immediately they receive it with joy. But say this with me. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They don't make it for the long haul. They, they fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. So if the first soil is the soil of pride, this next soil is the soil of problems. The soil of problems. Uh, if, you, if you want fruit, if you want fruit in your, if you want fruit, you've got two choices in your life, don't you? I mean, you can go to the grocery store or you can grow a tree in your backyard. I, I'm, not, I'm not growing a tree in my backyard. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting a tractor and a combine. I'm going to, you know, host some rows, man. I'm going I'm to get, get in the dirt and the soil. No, no, none of us are doing that, okay? I mean, I, that I know of. I, maybe you are a farmer. God bless you for that. Maybe you, you know, like uh, Sib, she's a gardener. She loves, like, getting in there and growing her own. That, that ain't me. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not getting a tractor and a combine. That's not, not going to happen because I can go to the store and they put it out for me. I mean, I, why would I go to the trouble of planting a seed and working the soil and waiting on the fruit when I can just go to the store and they put it out for me? This is how a lot of people are approaching their spiritual walk with Jesus. And this is very dangerous. And you got to be careful. Turn to somebody, tell them, be careful. Be careful. Because you can come into a moment like this. You can show up at church on a, on a Sunday and you, and you go, well, I mean, they, like right now, I mean, man, you just, you're putting the fruit out for me and I just kind of kind of get the fruit. Or, or maybe you're in a core group and you're like, you know, and I, I go to the group and then the group leader or somebody in the group, they read the scripture, and, but, but, they're, but you're not growing your own fruit. Instead, you're eating someone else's fruit. Do not eat someone else's fruit. You've got to grow your own fruit. Fruit. Turn to somebody, tell them, grow your own fruit. You got to grow. Oh, look at them like you mean to point at them if you want to and say, grow your own fruit. You got to grow your, your own fruit. So listen, because when you, when you don't grow your own fruit, when you, are, when you are eating someone else's fruit, you don't develop a root system. You have no root system, and you wonder why when problems come, when worries, when stress, when struggles come your way, and you're just a boom, easily toppled. It's because you're eating someone else's fruit and you have not developed a healthy root system. 